So hi guys, welcome to my room. <laughs> this We're is not your room. room. No, Why are you wearing that shirt? I always wear PJs. I don't care. Ignore these people. That's how I my oh, 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 jeez. Oh, is it recording? It's recording already. Hi guys, today's video is going to be a new series called The Scariest Thing and it's actually a tag that I saw on YouTube but I thought it would be cool to turn it into a, a series so we're going to start off with the first question which is, I don't know what my brothers are doing but okay. So the first question you guys for today is what has been the scariest real life experience? Living in this apartment. Oh. Being with you. No paranormal stuff. Just like scariest real life. Like yeah, something that, that has scared you in real life. Something you could explain. That yeah, supposed, something like real life. Not supposed, paranormal. No ghosts. No, no that, that was supposed to be a joke. What? The scariest real life experience. That's kind of hard because like is everything. When the paranormal? car was turning around and we got hit by somebody. I just remember it was it's around it was around two three in the morning. We were going to India, India California. To visit my sister. My mom was driving and she was feeling a little sleepy or tired, but at the end she didn't miss me. So what happened was um, I took over. I wasn't sleepy, but I guess I felt like, I guess it hit me once I was driving. I think we were, I was driving for like... Well, you were playing video games and your mom told you to go to sleep while she was driving. You didn't want to listen. Why are you playing video games in the car? He yes. has a DS thing. Yes, yeah. So he was playing the game and I was like, you should go to sleep. And he, I didn't he didn't tired, want to. So, I'm like, no, so then by the time his mom decided to be like, okay, I'm tired and sleepy because she was do dozing off on the lanes. I was like, hey, like she's like starting to swerve and stuff. And so then they switched. And the next thing you know, I switched with him. So I, I moved to the front next to him and he's driving. And then I'm like being all cautious, you know, on the, looking at the road. And I know where, like a few miles in, we're like, I feel like he, he starts going to the other lane. And you know how you feel like that, 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 like, no, 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 the like the wheel starts going on that on the, light. Like on the light, yeah, thingy on the, the lane. Reflection. And then I was, I was looking at it, I was like, okay. And then I was like looking at the road and I started seeing that he was like going off the lane. And then we're going super fast. Cause there's no one else, no one else like near the like the, the freeway. There's yeah, pretty there's empty. No it's pretty Christian empty. Morning, it's really but then the freeway, like the lane, kind of curves, and I still notice that we're still going straight. So then I was like, is he gonna turn? Wait, but are you not looking at his face? No, apparently. No, I was looking at the road because I was just like looking. Yeah, like, I like, look at the road. When, when the, I usually look at the person. Like, are you yeah, kidding? and it starts going by like seconds. Not like I, as I explain, it seems like it's going forever, but it's in seconds. In seconds, he's like going on. The, he was on the lane, then he gets off the lane, and then I notice that we're gonna go into a curve, and I'm like waiting for him to like put it, and then I look back and I'm like, sex on, sex on, and. And then I was like noticing the curve, we were gonna hit the wall on the freeway. And so since he wasn't responding, I just grabbed and I, I like swerved the whole wheel. Cause I wasn't even like, oh yeah, hold on, let me like just gently. No, I just went like that and I pulled it. And the car went vroom and then it bounced like this. And then Sunny was in the trunk, so she panicked. She jumped to the front seat, like yeah. where Sex's mom was at. And Sex's mom was like, ah! And he woke up by then. <laughs> and by then he wakes up, he's like, I was like, Your seriously, you were <laughs> sleeping? Apparently, he closed his eye for Apparently, like a second. I was sleeping. I did sleep. And I was all waiting for him to like start. So I'm like, okay, because sometimes he's like, oh, okay, like whatever. You know, people wake up there like as soon as they feel. And I was waiting for that. And I'm like, no, okay. And then I was just like, I yanked it and it went like crazy. And the unit kind of went like, yeah, it was just, yeah. I thought I was going to die. And then we stopped the car and then we had to secure Sunny, but Sunny didn't want to be back there. She yeah, was like, Sunny screw that. Up, yeah, yeah like, so Sunny was just me. like, yeah, and her mom was like all freaking out. And he was all, I got mad at him because I'm like, you almost killed us. Yeah, but she didn't die, as you can see, she didn't die. What I got to. Well, what got you really scared? Didn't that get you scared like you were going to lose Not your really, huh? forever? <laughs> I, think, I, guess, I think at first in the beginning it did, huh? Because you didn't know. No, no, what I was scared the most was getting the stitches. No, okay, my mom was off to Mexico for two weeks. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It had to be the when my mom was leaves. gone, yeah. The day she leaves. And then Jessica. But was that the scariest thing, getting the stitches? That's the scariest thing that's yeah, happening. Yeah, getting stitches is scary. I don't like needles, I hate needles. Yeah, scary I stitches. Just, you remember, you remember well, I know, I was with him when we went to the hospital. Were he you, was like nervous. Yeah, you like, remember the doctors? I was like shaking when they were going to give me a needle. Oh, yeah, he looked like pale. Yeah, I hate I shots. Don't. You just hate the needle. She, I was already getting 
mad, angry, because I wanted the food. Because <laughs> <laughs> he then, gets cranky when he doesn't eat the like, food. Well, if you want to eat it faster, go open, open the, the can, can of beans. <laughs> and I was like, fine, I'll go open it. <laughs> Here goes Carlos. <laughs> so I go to the kitchen. I'm opening it. You can do one thing right. <laughs> and then, one job. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> so then the, the can of bin, bins, the can of beans were about to fall off and I caught it. No, they're already open. So then I was about to catch them. And then while I caught the, the can of beans, the lid. Yeah. His finger felt so sore it was bleeding. I'm just kidding. Like a fish. Like a fish dying out of water. Yeah, and then, um, Oh, the first thing I saw was the bloody squirt. <laughs> it actually squirted like yeah. a tiny yeah. stuff. Yeah. It jumped on the canvas. Yeah. Oh, like well, well, there's, there's evidence, guys, that it actually squirts yeah. after. Yeah. 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 That's why I found out. I remember seeing that. And as soon as I saw it, it squirted all over your face. Like, I, 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 I closed it. it. I was hauling this for two hours until I got stitches. I did not open it. I, I know. I wanted to see if I was scared. Even though I was like this. The blood started coming out to my yeah, hand. Yeah, you guys on the floor on your shoulder. This is the kitchen is wide, you know, the blood is red. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw it everywhere. And then, oh, I just remember. Uh, yeah, I think that was like kind of scary for me too because I felt like a little guilty. Wait, the actual pain? You <laughs> felt guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I had no pain, like it didn't hurt. Like that was, it didn't hurt, but um. The stitches, you knew you were going to need stitches and you're and like, you no. Know. And once you got to the, the ER, <laughs> we were like, when they kind of really kind of signed in, registered, whatever. But then we're like, we all looked at it like, do you really, really need really stitches? Need stitches? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was he of still thought about it. He's like, do I really need? And then you look at the fingers like, <laughs> I, I, I was just, <laughs> I was just thinking, I'll go home. Oh, close on his own. But yeah, like as we were doing it, I barely really opened it, and I saw like a little. Like it, it was lifted up. Like, 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 like a kangaroo's a little stomach. You know how they can hold yeah. the baby? That's how it looked like a little pouch. <laughs> <laughs> so like, nope, I know I need them. <laughs> I was so scared. And then I was like, okay, I guess. And we waited yeah. for hours. In the ER room, taking long. I didn't believe Carlos was bleeding out. I was like, no. Oh. So then the doctor, he had to put like three or two shots to numb my finger. And once he had to get the dough. Then the like. How he stitched it with like a little hook. I like, know, it's like, like a hook thing. Oh, like, oh, hush. <laughs> and then I saw it and he was stitching it and I was like, oh. Well, I think one, like, I mean, this is not really scary. It's just like, it kind of, it kind of freaked me out. One time I go, I think it was like, the, like now I'm kind of scared of needles. But like not so much, but like actual like, you know, needles when they draw blood and stuff. Because uh, I think it was our uh, junior year. You know, the Red Cross donation blood day, you know. So I'm like, uh, everyone convinced me, don't need blood, go for it. I'm like, all right. Everyone's like, oh, come on, you get skip class. I'm like, I don't care about that. <laughs> Whatever, people are like, got me. Get free snacks. Even that I didn't care about it. They were just like, okay, <laughs> they convinced me to do like yeah. that. Anyway, it's a normal day, you know, I'm in class, I call you out, it's my turn. I go, I go to the booth, sign in, ask all the dumb, well, answer all the dumb questions. And I get my blood drawn. The lady, I think she picked me, like, the first time, she, I guess she didn't get my vein, and the second time she got it, whatever. No, I dropped blood for what, like 20 minutes. I don't know how long it is. Do you guys know? I mean, yeah, like 15 minutes. Like 15, I don't think I've ever I donated blood. blood. Yeah. Right. 15, 20 minutes. This is my first time ever donating. And they wrap me up and they send me off my little kicking and juice, whatever, like that stuff they give you. Anyway, they never told me, oh, you're not supposed to lift heavy stuff right after you donate blood, right? But I didn't know. <laughs> Hold on. Like, I remember this I did, gonna end well. <laughs> and, uh, after this, I still have my sixth period class, I think, which was PE, right? And we had to move, like, this floor mat. And, like, Your parents' grade, you have PE? Yeah. Some people have four years. I got it, like, for ninth grade, senior year, and junior year. Anyway. So we need to move this, like, heavy foam mat. You know which one, right? The one that was in, like, the back of the NPR? Well, like, that weird room, like, that foam that you could roll up. Mm -hmm. Me and our friends were picking it up. And we had to squeeze it through that small door, and like I helped them pick it up. It's not heavy, nothing. I mean, I just feel a little bit of pain. I'm like, ah, whatever. I mean, it's just probably because of the needle, you know. Uh, like a week later, I'm still working. At, during this time, I was working and stuff, and I would be lifting heavy stuff. Anyway, I started noticing that my like my flesh is starting to turn a little yellow, <laughs> starts bruising up, Ew. and then I noticed that eventually, like, after like almost like two weeks, like it was like turning almost like a green, like <laughs> color, and like, my flesh was getting all like weird, and that's when I started freaking out. Like, ah, oh, damn, this looks jacked up. Anyway, was it like, a big patch or? It was like. Do you still have it? No, I don't have it. No, it went away. But it was like 
from from like here to like here, like oh all this like turning green. Oh my gosh! And it was just like, I think the lady had told me that I think they might uh, when she the first time she uh, might pierce my blood vessel or something. I mean, I don't know what she did because uh, my friend, her mom was like a registered nurse, or something, so she told me, oh, you want my mom to take a look at it? She's like a nurse. And I'm like, oh, well, I mean, screw it. I mean, because I was too lazy to actually go to a real doctor because I'm like, what, what are they going to do? What are they going to tell me? Oh, yeah, you're bruised up, but that's it. So then I decided I go to her house and she tells me, oh, well, yeah, I think the lady might have just uh, accidentally, like, punctured her wrong vein or something. So that would cause all the bruising. And then, like, plus lifting heavy stuff, like, cause it to get bruised up more. And all she did was tell me, oh, like, get a water bottle, put hot water in it, and then just, like, start painting your arms so you could, like, start relieving the bruising. But, yeah, that was kind of scary because I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, well, we had to get my arm amputated. Like, okay. <laughs> like, I mean, it, was, it looked like nasty, like green. Like, it looked like. Yeah. So, me, well, I, I would have to say the hiking. Oh, oh. yeah, that's pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great one, kids. <laughs> yeah, like that one, I, I was really scared. You I, love me, don't you? Like, I really thought I was going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were going to die or something? Yeah, because. One, I knew like for anything you need energy. My energy was like there to its match. I had sucks. no more energy. And then I was like, I was just tired and like I just couldn't. Like, I, I, and coming come home, we've been no one hikes for that many hours. People it was like, like a six hour hike. People go like, oh, we went hiking and now we're not like for six hours hiking. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of those versions, six food? hours. No food, no, no, food. Food, no, no water. water. Into, into, into the wilderness. <laughs> Like no food for six hours. Yeah. Raining. Like could it get any worse? Like we had no sweaters because we, we like we it had to be sunny. I know that sucked. Like for it really sucked. Sunny sunny and it was like and I hadn't been hiking since like like since elementary. So like that was my first time hiking and like wow six it was hours. supposed to be fun. And like yeah, I, fun. You didn't die. And like I remember especially once I hit the fall. Like once I fell. I was like, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> There's my <laughs> life. Yeah, like I was muddy because I fell on my butt, so my whole butt, my whole leg, my shoes were dirty, my hands had like, you know when you mud? This sucks, wait, this, like, I, hope, I, I grabbed to the mud. This so sucks because we were mud. half, we were more than halfway there, I'm like, I was like hoping to myself, oh, just because it doesn't bother because I mean, it's going to break your spirit. I know this mentally, like, I didn't even have to ask for it to break no, your spirit, but, but hold on. No, what? but the worst part was that. That because we were done hiking a while back, we were trying to go back, like go back, like so we can leave. So I felt like we just kept going in circles and circles, like oh this is the way, oh no that's not it, oh no that's not it, oh no that's not it. There, that's not it. There was like a, so many times. There were only like three dead ends. That's why. Yeah, we could no, only like, three dead oh, ends. Oh, we just kept going in circles. I'm like oh my god, like. Like, are we gonna get out of here? Are we yes, gonna keep going? Of course. Of course. Let me look at you. There, there was no one, there was no one there to follow. No, the last yeah, because it was raining. Who, was, who would hike in the middle of like the rain? Like, as you can see, and you can see and survive. And yeah. Because yeah. they get like, slippery, right? Yeah, and it's because like some people do go, but they go with an easy one, and we're like already there. The hard course. Yeah, yeah, we actually were in the hard course. Yeah, section. and it, like to the point because sometimes it rains a little, doesn't get that muddy. It, was, it had been raining so the more like the whole mud, it was mud like like, mud. like you pretty much just sold or she will be in the mud actually it was that bad and so especially the park because we're going like there will be all the way <laughs> down or the ledges like, so once when we were out out we had to go down all the way and we had to hold hands to like make it all the way down <laughs> the you guys uh, should have just embraced it and be like let's just roll down this no, i know i'm no, like, like i'm gonna like, slide you're already no, dirty and be like Wee! no but it was like like i was like what like probably 100 feet going down yeah. like it was like a big ball like, Sit on your butt and slide down, like. No, no, there was a bunch of jagged rocks. Well, not like a bunch, but like, you know, I'm probably gonna pick yeah, you I up. Yeah, I just felt like I was like really, yeah, I was, was tired. Bad. Yeah, and then we got on the bus, and then like it was the wrong one. <laughs> like it was a short one, so it only took us halfway. And then we got to look for the right bus, so we walked around the block. Wait, so you guys got on the bus not knowing that it wasn't gonna take you all the way? No, home. Didn't it doesn't say. It doesn't say. Oh, we only make it to the No. No, I didn't go. Yeah, was not the time. first time. Yeah. I went after. After they went, they were gonna so, go check it out. So we got <laughs> off. <laughs> we got off, and yeah. then we're like, "Oh, where do we get the long one?" Then, and we was dumb. Like we walked around the like the block, and it turns out it was in the same spot. <laughs> yeah. And so we waited for the bus, and we finally got it. And I was cold because like, the AC was on, and I wet the chair, whatever. And well, the seat, whatever. And then yeah, and then we made it home and got McDonald's. Okay, well, I guess that's all of our scariest thing, real life experience that we all shared with you guys. Um, 
I'm not sure how long these series are going to be. I mean, it just depends on how much each one of us talks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Tell us what you want to hear from us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Comment down below because that would be really helpful because we're kind of stuck right now.